Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a opportunity contact role to a newly created opportunity record. Also making the opportunity contact role a primary as well. So before we begin, I do want to show you what I've created before incorporating implementing this process. I created two custom fields, both are checkboxes. One is on the contact object and one is on the opportunity contact role object. They're both labeled as first contact. For example, uh, you know, for this scenario, let's say there's a process after converting the lead or there was a point of contact of some sort and it was logged in and that first contact will be considered a first contact. Uh, this will all make sense uh, once I uh, process and have it run. Just FYI, this opportunity contact role first contact is a formula field checkbox. So it is referencing the first contact contact object uh, field. So if that's checked off, it will also be checked off here in the opportunity contact role. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So go to the setup menu, go to the quick find box, type in flows. All right, now we're going to click on new flow. We're gonna start from scratch. So select that one next. For this example, we will do a record trigger flow, okay? The object we are focusing on is the opportunity. And we're gonna trigger when it creates it because the whole point is a newly created uh, opportunity. For this example, I may not use a set entry condition. I may, I'm just going to use a uh, decision element, but it's totally up to you. And I'm going to make this an after save flow. Okay. Let me just save this. Okay. Okay. Add opportunity contact roll to op. I'm going to save. And let's go to the add element button here. Like I said, I'm going to do a decision element. All right, so I'm going to do a resource triggering uh, opportunity. I say account right here, account ID, put is null, and then I'm going to say false. So essentially, uh, with this in mind, the opportunity that's going to be created must have an account associated with it. So it can't be null. So that's why if it meets not if it's not null, okay, great. It's gonna continue off. Let me save. All right, so let us go expand the add portion here. So click on this. Let's do a get records. Let's type in get contacts. Okay, the object is contact because that's what we need. All right, so now what we're gonna do is account ID equals record account ID. Okay, and then we're gonna do all records right here because there could be a multitude of contacts associated with the account. Before we go any further, let me just explain the schema right here. As you can see, there's a relation with account, contacts, and opportunities, and it's a one-to-many relationship. So you see here, there could be multiple accounts with one account. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, multiple opportunities with one account and multiple contacts with one account. When an opportunity is newly created, it will have, and it should have an account for better tracking purposes and such. Now with this account, there could be uh, a contact associated with it. Therefore, right here, 
there can be many contacts. So the whole purpose of the uh, get record is I am trying to get the contacts. I'm pretty much going through the account to get to the contacts, pretty much. Kind of like from opportunity, the triggering opportunity, then it's going to the accounts, then it's going here, the contact. Kind of like a circular motion or like a reverse C. But more will be shown in the demo. Okay, back to the flow. So we have this now. What we're going to ne do next is add a loop. Okay, we're gonna call this loop through account contacts collection variable. We're just gonna take this from the get records and you can pick whatever you like. I'm just gonna pick first item to last item. Okay, now we're going to do an assign element. Assignment element. Okay, now we're going to call this assign values. Here we have to create a variable so it can store those uh, values, those records, those collections. Here, we're going to create a uh, variable here. So let me create a new resource. Let's store these values. I'm going to call this OCR, Opportunity Contact Role, VAR. And what we're going to do is we're going to call it a record, right? They type record. And we're going to refer to the Opportunity contact role and we're not going to do an input or output and then click done what we need to do now is assign these values so the first one i'm going to do is let's do contact role equals equals Let's put contact okay contact ID next OCR variable we're going to do equal opportunity ID equals let's go to the ID portion of the opportunity Add another one. We're going to do. We're going to do a roll. This is quite optional. And I'm going to make it as decision maker. It could be business user, however you like. But it's going to be just a decision maker value. And lastly, with all these assigned, I do want to put this in a collection variable because, again, there could be uh, multiple multiple contacts, and I do want all those multiple uh, contacts taken in. So let us create another resource, another variable. Let's call this, let's call this OCR collect collection. I'm just going to call it collection. Data type is going to be record. I'm going to allow a collection. As you can see, a collection variable stores multiple values of the same data type or record of the same object in an ordered list to iterate over a collection variable, use a loop. So that's what we have. And we're going to use this. So opportunity, contact role, click done. And we're not going to use equal, we're going to use add because we're adding in all those values and all those records. Well, primarily records per se. Okay, and let us use the opportunity contact role variable as it's been defined here and assigned. There's that. We have the get records loop and the assign variable and the assign uh, element, assignment element. So it's going to go around and around, grabbing all those contacts basically for uh each uh each record it finds just going through this motion going through this motion loop and then the assignment 
values that is defined here. And it was added to this collection variable. So outside this loop, uh, good practice is to create a DML, uh, DML uh, element, not in the loop, but outside the loop after the last. So let's do a create record because we're creating the opportunity contact role. Let's name this create OCR. We're going to select a record variable and we're going to create multiple because again, there could be multiple uh, contacts and it's going to be this OCR collection because we just added it. All right, so that is done. And lastly, I will create an update element. We're going to do updating triggering record. We're going to name this update OCR. All right, so we have update OCR. And we're going to do uh, update records relate to the opportunity record that triggered the flow. So we're going to do triggering opportunity. And we're going to look at opportunity contact roles right here. So you're going to select opportunity contact roles. So the triggering right there. And then I'm going to add a condition. So for the opportunity contact role, as mentioned, the first contact, I'm going to select this one. And it has to equal true in order for it to be the uh, primary and such. Let me just type in true. Now let's see the is primary in the opportunity contact role. I do want that to update. So we're going to make that true. Okay. So whatever contacts it finds and it has the first contact equals true. Uh, obviously that will mirror over into the opportunity contact role. And if that's true, the first contact in the opportunity contact role, then make the is primary of the opportunity contact role true. Cause I want one primary. That's the whole goal of this. Okay, let us save this. All right. Let's give this a debug. Okay, which one? So American Corp. Run. Okay, it completed. Now let's see. So It has a uh, account, okay. Has a contact, uh, you see the account right there, matching IDs, loop through accounts. So looks like it found three, assigning the, uh, you know, the values through the loop. As you can see, it's iterating over, went in three times. Assigning these values, see the different contact IDs and such that's existing in the org going through going through okay loop ended so it created the three opportunity contact roles and it kind of comes the update okay let us do some field testing but first let's activate this flow Okay, it's activated. Now let's test it. So before I field test it, let's look at this contact here. And the account name is American Banking Corp. So this contact has the first contact uh, checkbox equals true. It's checked off. Well, let's go to the account American Banking Corp that's related. So you see there's three uh, contacts. So all these three are going to be created because of the record trigger flow. But only one of them with the first contact is uh, first contact equal true going to be the primary. There should be only one primary, but you know, if there's two or three primaries in, in your scenario, so be it. Okay. So let us create a uh, opportunity. So let's create an opportunity. So I'm going to clone this one, 
clone it. And what we're going to do is just put uh, just random data. Yeah, to keep it that way. Uh, let's just call it downgrade. Prospecting, save. Okay, there you have it. It was uh, created right here, uh, contact roles. View all, as you can see, all three of them are created and one of them is primary. So let's just go to edit. As you can see right here, this is read only. It's a formula field. First contact is referencing the first contact field from the contact uh, associated contact, as you can see. And uh, that's all I wanted to show you. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to be on the lookout for any resources or information in the description. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.